Hello my dear students. Welcome back to all computer classes. Students, today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 9 and the name of the chapter is Internet Online Surfing, right? So this is part 1 and we are going to start the chapter with the two topics that is define internet and popular internet services, right? So let's begin the chapter. So what is the definition of internet? First of all, we will understand that. What is the internet? So, internet is a network of millions of computers connected to each other. For example, you say this is a globe, right? Your globe. And there are millions of computers in all the continents, in all the countries, right? And all these computers are connected when you are on internet, right? So internet is defined as a network, right? So this is a network of how many computers? Millions of computers and all these computers are connected to each other worldwide. How they are connected? They are connected through telephone lines or cable, right? So now you repeat with me when you are repeating. Now repeat with me and visualize also right so internet is defined as a network of millions of computer connected to each other worldwide through telephone lines or cable there's one more point internet has a largest information database right so in the database we keep huge 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 amount of information right so why it is the largest you know that for any kind of information what do we approach we don't approach our dictionaries or books so the first thing that comes in our mind is internet we google it right means all type of informations are being kept on internet right and how they are kept they are kept in databases so internet has largest information database right i hope you are clear with the definition of internet now let's move to the popular internet services in the rest of the part of this uh, presentation we will have a brief introduction of several internet services right let's see some of the internet services starting with email now what is e here e stands for electronic right so we need some medium so which medium we are using we are using electronic medium so email is economical mode of communication so it is one of the mode of communication to communicate this is one of the basic facility that internet has provided right it facilitates in sending messages and files such as pictures songs etc to multiple people at the same time right so you know that when we you your class teacher sends an email so all these students all the parents receive the email at the same time right and this is possible because of email right so the next service next service is online chatting you all are familiar with chatting right so chat is more personalized form of communication and is life so what is meaning of per personalized means two people are chatting and no other person is reading that so this is personalized and it is live live means one is sending messages at the same time he is receiving also so it is two-way communication and, and happen at the same time chatting allow users to send instant messages back and forth to each other right you can also interact with other users through voice message, voice chat or video chat. So we can, you know that today we can use voice chats, we can use video chat to communicate. Chatting can take place via instant messenger, chatting websites and chat rooms. So these are the different ways to chat. Next is video conference. So conference is kind of a meeting. So video conference can be described as a phone call. This is also a phone call like uh, your Zoom meetings, right? So that is a kind of conference phone call with a picture that allow multiple people sitting at geographical different location to communicate 
by exchanging video and audio at the same time right during the covid time all the students were sitting at different geographical location but they used to have a uh, meetings at the same time right so this was possible because of video conference it is the best option to have face to face interaction in a real time Next is e-learning. E stands for electronic. You know that it refers to learning with the use of technology. For example, now you are studying on in all computer classes. I am teaching. You are studying. So which mode we are using? I am having an electronic mode for sending my information. To access the information, you also need to have internet and some electronic medium. right so it refers to learning with the use of technology that enable people to learn anytime anywhere right it is less expensive right can be used to impart training to large group of student at the same time right so you know that many people are taking uh, yoga training gym training dance training music training embroidery training so many kind of trainings by sitting at their home right it saves time money and energy it makes learning interesting and enjoyable with the use of av what is av audio and visuals right next is internet free calls so you all know that internet provides free call facility right so internet let us make free voice calls and video calls to anyone across the world some software even allows us to send free messages and videos along with free internet calls right for this we need particular software that should be installed on the system for example skype vibe viber and google hangout even your whatsapp provides this facility e groups e groups means electronic groups is a virtual group meeting so how do we make group for example you and your friend has participated in rangoli competition you are sitting on the first bench your friend is sitting on the last bench so before teacher comes in the class you quickly get together talk about that and you disperse when your teacher comes right so you get together so what is it that pulling you together it is your same interest right so so the people with the same interest makes the group right and share the same interest it provides a platform for people to share information on the topic of their interest and then messages and the photo albums right an e group typically contain discussion message board with the member can discuss topic of their choice by posting a message right for example uh, if there is a, um, a group of people uh, who are interested around uh, yoga or some food item or for some uh, recipes so if someone will put a um, topic that i want a particular recipe on this topic can anybody tell me so people who are um you know well versed on that topic will post the answer to that question and even they can have discussion right so all that the member can view and reply to the post next is social networking so social networking social networking site is an online platform that focuses on facilitating the building of social networks or social relationship among the people who share the same interest activities backgrounds or real life connections right so social networking can be done with the social purposes or even for the business purposes or with this both right so you might have seen there are some business pages where people are selling dresses or some some of their products using the social media right so social networking sites are also called social media so if it is written social networking or social media it is one and the same thing so what are the example it is facebook twitter these are some of the examples of social 
media now next is internet radio so now we have got facility of internet radio is a online radio service that is broadcasted over the internet on dedicated radio server internet radio has been in existence since 90s late 90s right after 91 90s right internet radio has no limit if you have internet connection you can use so what you need to do you need to just install these applications on your phone and you are ready to go like other traditional uh, radio channels used to have only a uh, broadcast limit up to 100 miles after this distance radio system could not catch the signals right and uh, now since internet is there so we can have clear voice we can see all the channels now this um, radio internet radio can show some graphic text links with audios etc so you can try it out install vivid bharti or radio mirchi on your computer or your phone and you can enjoy internet radio and the last service is internet service you are very well known with the hotstar netflix sony live what are they they are internet tv so internet tv can be defined as a medium of delivering television content over internet connections like you the serial that you used to watch only on tv now they are also available on the these applications it is uh, available wherever a broadband connection exists internet tv is also called web television why because particular websites are providing this facility right why broadband is required broadband is having a, a good amount of internet speed so it consumes you know that tv serials and videos consume lot of data so if you are having just your um, simple um, internet that would not be enough to watch the serials or movies on the phone so if you are having broadband connection then it is uh possible for you to watch this tv internet tv option include web based shows videos on demand and regular te- television shows hosted on channels website right we can watch tv anytime on computer screens tv screen or mobile screen right so hotstar sony live netflix these are the example you all are aware of these things because internet is popularly used 24 hours right now the time has come that we cannot imagine our lives without mobile phones smartphones and internet it has become an integral part of our lives right so students i hope you are clear with all these topics see you tomorrow with some new topics on the same chapter right so tomorrow we will discuss some advantages and disadvantages of internet and uh, then we will talk about potential threats while using internet right so then take care goodbye and god bless you all